So let's start sitting, closing your eyes. Let's start finding a long spine. Long spine is always helping us to help this natural flow of energy in your body. When you're squeezing your spine, curving your spine, you're squeezing your organs. And it's more difficult, more difficult for your body to nourish, to breathe. So finding your sitting bones, rooting down lengths of your spine, resting your hands, your shoulders, taking one big, big, big inhaling. And with your inhaling, you're going to rising in your spine and without losing the lengths, exhaling. Connecting to your natural breath. Letting your breath be flowy, smooth, natural. And observe how you're breathing. Can you feel your breath? Can you be aware of your breath? This gentle in flow and outflow. How it touches your nostrils. Temperature difference. When it comes in, maybe you can sense it's a bit colder than the air is flowing out from the temperature of your body, heated up. Maybe you can recognize there is one side of your nose, one nostril is more open than the other side. Observing without interfering, helping us to being aware, letting yourself growing in your awareness. Normally we jump already. When there is something, we're jumping on it, evaluate, judge, Good, bad, should, shouldn't, has to be, has, have to be. So, observing what is, is observing reality. And for today's pranayama, exercising with breath, helping us to bring more awareness towards breath and helping us to open different energy lines in our body. You make a fist, uh, alternate nostril breathing, nadi sottana. So you make a fist with your right hand and leave your thumb and your pinky finger like this greeting from the surface you see here very often from your... Thumb comes on the right side of your nose, your pinky finger on the left side. Closing your right side and inhaling with your left side. Closing both of your sides, holding your breath in. And exhaling, opening your right side, letting yourself exhaling. Stay empty for a moment, inhaling your right side, closing both of your sides, holding your breath, opening your left side and exhaling, two, three, four, five, stay empty, inhaling, two, three, four, Five, holding, two, three, opening, right side, exhaling, four, three, two, one, stay empty, inhaling, two, three, four, five, holding, two, three, exhaling, left, two, one, empty, inhaling, two, three, four, five, holding, two, 
three, opening right, exhaling, three, two, one, hold. Inhaling, two, three, four, five, holding, two, three, left side, exhaling, three, two, one, pause. Inhaling, two, three, four, five, closing, two, three, right side, exhaling, three, two, one, pause. Inhaling, two, three, four, five, holding, two, three, left side, exhaling. And releasing your right hand with your eyes still closed. Observe. Can you feel, notice any shift, any change in your awareness, in your sensations? Bringing your arms in front of you with your palms of your hands facing down. Lengthening your arms, inhaling, bringing your arms over your head. Palms of your hands facing forward, releasing your shoulders. Exhaling, bringing your arms down, letting your spine growing. Inhaling, arms over your head. Exhaling, bringing your arms back. Down. Dear Pedro, inhaling, arms over your head. Exhaling, bringing your arms back down. One more time, inhaling. Stay with your arms where they are, bending your left elbow with your right hand, holding your left elbow and help to opening your left armpit. Breathe. Stay long in your spine, your head extended. Breathe. Inhaling, releasing your bows of your arms and bending your right elbow with your left hand on top of your right elbow, helping to opening your armpit. Inhaling, bows, arms over your head. Exhaling, bringing your arms back down in front of you. One more time. Inhaling, your arms. Exhaling, reaching forward from your arms, rolling over your knees and come into your tabletop, pushing all away what you're sitting on. Bring it towards your side, spreading your fingers wide. Hands under your shoulders, knees, hip bits apart, lengthening your left leg and curling your toes under and giving yourself a bit of a rocking forward, rocking back. Breathe. Sorry, Petro, you have another few. We have six people in the class, in my five. So I needed to have it. <laughs> bit differently. Inhaling, lifting your left leg towards the ceiling, gazing forward, rounding your spine with your exhaling, knee meeting your forehead. Inhaling, lengthening your leg, opening your chest, rounding your spine. Exhaling, bringing your knee towards your forehead. Inhaling, Inhaling, lengthening. And Kate, spreading your fingers wider. No, not arms, only fingers. This is it. Hands under your shoulders and making a really nice base with your hands. Softening in your elbows. Exhaling, rounding. And Tobias, see that you do not drop on one side. Stay evenly, pressing with both hands into the floor. Inhaling, lengthening your left leg, gazing forward, lifting your right arm, 
See that you do not drop into your shoulder, elbow bending forward, lifting yourself out. Brace, becoming light like a feather, staying here, or maybe you can bending your left knee, gripping with your right hand, your ankle, pushing your shin bone away, opening your chest. Breath, smiling. Breathe. Exhaling, letting go, reaching forward and back, planting your hand onto the floor, your knee under your hip, stretching out your right leg, curling your toes, giving yourself a bit of a rocking forward, rocking back, warming your wrists, connecting with your heel and your toes, your top of your head. Dabs in your breath. Inhaling, finding back into your neutral, lifting your right leg. See that you do not drop on one side. You wanna pressing both hands, lifting yourself up out of your shoulders, smiling. Exhaling, bending your knee, arching your spine. Inhaling, lengthening, as if you can lengthening from your foot and your heart. Rounding. Inhaling, it's much more spine work, full body work than it is the work of your leg. Exhaling. Inhaling two more times. Inhaling, reaching, stay lifting your left arm, gaze towards the floor, staying here or bending your knee, gripping with your hand, your ankle, flexing your foot and making sure your, your heel is far away from your seat. So while you're pressing your hand into your ankle, you're opening your shoulder and your back bending. Breathe, opening your chest. Inhaling, reaching, exhaling, planting hand, planting your knee, opening your knees, mid bits apart, big toes touching, Come into your open legged child pose, forehead meeting the floor, resting for a moment, breathing into your hips, your shoulders easing. Breath. Child pose always available when you feel you need to rest. You need to slow down, avoid sitting up, looking around, wondering what all the other are doing, judging yourself in any way. Practicing yoga, gaining more space internally, planting your elbows and your hands onto the floor, coming up. So you come with your shoulders, over your elbows and letting your knees sliding a tiny bit more away to opening your hips a tiny bit further and start rocking forward, rocking back, warming these hips. Some people have nice tight hips, some people have nice open hips. Who cares? It's only your judgmental mind criticizing you. Breathe, it has nothing to do being a good practitioner, being a bad practitioner. It has something to do with your constitution and the way you've been born into this body. Taking one more, exhaling, bringing some weight on your elbows that you can bring your knees back under your hips, planting your head back under your shoulders, gazing forward, curling your toes, lifting your seat and finding your first downward facing dog, paddling with your feet, 
spreading your fingers wide, bringing your feet a tiny bit closer. Okay, yes, this is it. Bending your knees slightly and shooting. This is it. Breathe. Letting your neck growing long. Breathe. Spreading your fingers a tiny bit wider. Wonderful. Breathe. One more inhaling. And exhaling, bending your knees under your hips and flow one more time into your child pose, letting your palms of your hands facing up, releasing your neck. Inhaling, coming back, your hands under your shoulders, knees, hip width apart, making sure your hips stay over your knees while you're walking your hands forward in your puppy pose, spreading your fingers wide, releasing your chest towards the floor, pushing your seat far away and bringing your belly in. So you don't want to let your belly dropping that you fall into your lower back. You're shooting back with your seat, bringing your belly towards your spine, lengthening your spine, spreading these fingers, arms stretching out. Depths in your breath. Releasing your elbows onto the floor, sliding between your arms, coming onto the floor with your belly. Big toes touching, bringing your elbows under your shoulders, spreading your fingers wide. Pressing your 10 toes into the floor, pulling your hands slightly towards your heart. Stephanie, bring your elbows closer and the this is it. Breathe. From here, you're pulling your hands towards your heart, your 10 toes flat into the floor, lifting yourself up, toning yourself a tiny bit, awakening these muscles. You need to breathe even fuller from your tips of your toes to your top of your head. Breathe. Inhaling, exhaling, releasing, pulling your hands towards your heart, lifting your elbows, only two, three, three centimeters, elbow, this is it, breathe, breathe, exhaling, release, opening your arms towards your side, planting them onto the floor, and then you're lifting your palms of your hands, fingertips pressing into the floor. Ten toes flat, inner thighs towards the ceiling. And from here, you're pressing your hands, lifting your chest, rolling back your shoulders. Exhaling, release, interlacing your fingers in your back, pushing your hands towards your heels, squeezing your shoulder blades and lifting your chest. Breathe in here. You can stay here or you're letting your legs floating up, come into a variation of your locus. Breathe while you're pressing your belly button, pubic bone into the floor. Exhaling, release. Give yourself a moment, bringing your hands under your forehead, resting your, sin, um, your forehead onto your hands like a nice little cushion.
bringing your hands on the back of your skull, interlacing your fingers, pushing your elbows towards the side, releasing your shoulders. Shoulder blades want to come towards your seat, inhaling, lifting yourself up, exhaling, coming down, inhaling, belly button, pubic bone, pressing into the floor, exhaling down, two more times, inhaling, lifting, exhaling, coming back down. Inhaling, lifting, staying here, breathe. Long spine, elbows onto the side, 10 finger toes pressing into the floor. Exhaling, release, bringing your hands on your side, turning your head to one side, resting. Bringing your elbows in line with your shoulders. You're creating a 90 degree ankle. Shoulders, elbow, hands onto the floor. Breathe. And then you're letting your hands sliding where your elbows are. So your hands coming in line with your shoulders. Making one more time a nice little dome. So your elbows pointing towards the ceiling. From here, you're lifting your heart with your inhaling. Exhaling, coming down, turning your head to the other side. Inhaling, 10 toes, belly button, pubic bone, shoulders rolling back. Shoulders, yeah. Exhaling, coming down. Inhaling, wonderful. Exhaling, the other side. Two more times, inhaling, pressing your fingertips, structure, gaining more strength in your hands. Exhaling. Two more times, one more, each side. Exhaling. Inhaling, and you want to stay starting moving in your shoulders, so softening in these shoulders as if you can make a nice little dance in your shoulders, in your chest, in your ribs. Your breath is your guide, your neck softening. Inhaling, coming in your center. Exhaling, coming back down. Hands under your shoulders, curling your toes, pushing yourself back in your child pose. Stay with your toes, curled under, lengthening your spine. <sighs> Sliding your hands under your shoulders, lifting your seat in your downward facing dog, stepping your feet together, lifting your right leg towards the ceiling with your inhaling, exhaling, stay, inhaling, exhaling, stay, inhaling, exhaling, releasing your right leg, lifting your left leg towards the ceiling with your inhaling, stay spreading your fingers, breathe, rolling back your shoulders, long spine, long legs, exhaling, bringing your left knee towards your chest and reach with your left foot under your right, towards your right side, taking a big, big, big step. Rooting down from your left hand and letting yourself flipping open. Breathe. Lengthening both of your legs. Okay, breathe. This is it. Breathe. Dare to flip open. Stay in your pose. Bringing your right arm, needling under your left, gazing over your left shoulder. Inhaling, opening up two more times. Exhaling, you always can release your lower knee when you need. Inhaling, exhaling. 
Inhaling, lifting up. Exhaling, planting both hands onto the floor, letting yourself coming down on your left hip, lengthening both of your legs. So your left leg on your left side, your right leg in your back, turning your torso, facing front. Smile. It's very good for surfing, having the flexibility and the length here. Not only for surfing lengthening, staying here, or you can come down onto your elbows. You want to twist in your belly towards the floor, your shoulders. People with a bit more flexibility, you can let yourself opening up, gazing towards your left side. So your right arm reaches to your left toes, your left arm opening up and your chest resting onto the floor. Stay on your elbows, no worries. Breathe. Some people grow up with a bit more flexible body. Some people have a tighter, doesn't matter. Breath. Breath. One more deep inhaling. Exhaling, gently coming back with your hands, walking them back under your shoulders, curling your right toes under, lifting yourself up, stepping back, finding your high plank, lifting your seat, downward facing dog, letting you inhaling with your nose, a big, big, big exhaling with a big sigh. Oh. Inhaling and exhaling. Oh, inhaling. Oh, we do this as long as I can hear a sound here in the room. Pedro, I can't hear you, but the people in the room. Yes. Stepping your feet together, lifting your right leg towards the ceiling with your inhaling. Stay here for one more breath. And then you're bending your knee towards your chest, reaching with your right foot towards the left side, flipping open, breathe. Now this is it. When you step your foot a tiny bit more towards the side, it's easier to really letting yourself flipping open your heart towards the ceiling. There, inhaling. And three times you want a needling. Needling your arm under your right. Inhaling, lifting up. Come on, needling. Ah. So with your left arm, you want to reach it under your right, gazing towards your right side. Inhaling, lifting up. Exhaling. And Stephanie, you can release your lower knee and you can work like this when this is too much. Exhale. Lifting your hips. So, dein linkes Knie ist auf dem Boden, dein rechtes Bein an der Seite, genau. Ja, kein Problem, das ist manchmal schwierig. So, inhaling, lifting, and then you're bringing both hands under your shoulders, your right hip towards the floor, scissor your legs. Really opening your legs, lifting yourself up. This is really good enough when you are here. Super nice IT stretch. Breathe. You can come down onto your elbows when you have space. Breathe. Bringing your torso towards the seat floor. Breathe. If you have more space, letting your arms opening towards the side, gaze the opposite side. Yes, to not hurt your neck. Breathe.
Next, inhaling, bringing your hands back under your shoulders, curling your back toes under. So your left toes curling, stepping back with your right. And stay a moment in your high plank, your heart between your hands, giving yourself a bit of a rocking forward, rocking back. Good morning in your wrists, in your shoulders, gaining strength in your core. Releasing your knees, releasing your toes, pulling your hands towards your heart, arching your spine, chin chest, meeting the floor, inhaling, sneaking in your mini cobra, exhaling, curling your toes in your downward facing dog. Breathe, one more inhaling and with a big, big sigh. <sighs> Two more, inhaling with your nose, exhaling. <sighs> Inhaling with your nose, exhaling. Oh, bending your knees, gaze between your hands, hopping, walking, or stepping forward between your hands. Feet hip width apart, coming halfway. Hands on your knees, softening your knees, a long, long spine, giving yourself a bit of a massage on your knees. Feeling this knees, this kneecaps rolling, and behind your knees, softening behind. Exhaling, letting your hands sliding along your shin bones, bending your knees when you need, finding your heels, and letting your hands sliding along your calf muscles, your hamstrings, pushing your seat back, lifting your heart. Are you soft in your knees? Spreading your toes wide. Breathe. It's a funky position. Helping us. Opening your inner groins and opening your chest. Letting your hands coming forward. Pressing your hands into your thighs while you're opening your chest like a duck. Exhaling, sliding your hands along your legs and tucking your tailbone in, rolling up your spine. Vertebra for vertebra. Come on in your standing, shoulders rolling back and down, bringing your hands behind on your sacrum, rolling back your shoulders, bending your knees and a sweet little back bending here. You're opening your chest. Right, bending your knees, Vanessa. This is it. Stephanie, bending your knees a tiny bit more while you're opening your chest. Inhaling, coming back in your standing, your arms on your side. Interlace, uh, sorry, spreading your fingers wide. Right thumb comes on top of your left. Bending your knees, you're ticking in front of your toes and bringing your arms along your ears. Bending your knees, breathe. Stay bending your knees while you're lifting yourself up, finding this sweet little back bending. Exhaling, hinging forward, interlacing your fingers in your back and your arms over your head. Stay bending your knees when you need to breathe. Letting your neck growing long, bending your knees, gazing forward and pushing your hands back, opening your chest. Exhaling, releasing your hands, stepping your right foot back, planting your right hand onto the floor, your left hand on your left knee, gaze over your left shoulder, stay. Or oh, lifting your left arm towards the ceiling and spreading your finger. Vanessa, your hand pressing down, lifting your... This is it. Breathe. 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 
and Petru see that you bring your left foot really flat onto the floor. Your left knee over your foot. This is it. Breathe. You're letting your knee floating a bit towards the side. Exhaling, planting your hand onto the floor, stepping back, finding your high plank, staying here, opening your hands towards the side of your mat. So your fingers coming towards the side of your mat and letting your heart sinking in between your shoulders, inhaling, lifting your heart, exhaling, inhaling. And exhale. Inhaling one more time. Exhale. Inhaling, coming back, bringing your hands back in line with your mat, releasing your knees, your toes, pulling your hands towards your heart, elbows, glue to your body. Inhaling, sneaking forward, rolling back your shoulders. Shoulders, this is it. Breathe, elbows, squeeze. Breathe, curling your toes, lifting your seat in your downward facing dog, stepping your feet together, right leg, lifting up, inhaling, exhaling, stepping your right foot between your hands, long runners, lunge, releasing your right, left knee, your left toes, lengthening your right leg, releasing your neck. Pushing your hip, breath. Doesn't matter when your hands can't stay on the floor. Stephanie, you can letting your hands sliding a bit more in your center that you can lengthen your leg. You want to stretching out your hamstring. Breath. Inhaling, bending. Your front knee gazing forward, curling your back toes under and stepping. Your left foot meeting your right. Inhaling, coming halfway. Exhaling, folding. Bending your knee, right thumb on top of your left. Bending your knee, pushing your seat, your arms next to your ears. Creating a nice little table here. Inhaling, stay bent in your knees while you're lifting yourself up, finding this sweet little back bending. Exhaling, bringing your prayer, lengthening your legs, closing your eyes for a moment. Breath. Are you touching yourself, criticizing? Can you give yourself this space of simply being who you are? what you are. Left thumb on top of your right, bending your knees, ticking in front of your toes, then you're bringing your arms next to your ears, breathe, bending, breathe. Inhaling, back bending, stay bending your knees. Exhaling, hinging forward, interlacing your fingers, making sure you're swapping the interlace so you don't do it habitually. You bring your other finger in front. When you can, squeezing your palms of your hands together. Breathe. Breathe. One more deep inhale. Exhaling, bending your knees, pushing your hands back, opening your chest, giving yourself a sweet little stretch in your arms. Exhaling, releasing your hands, stepping your left foot back, long runner's lunge, left hand on the floor, right hand on your knee, gazing over your shoulder, opening your arm towards the ceiling, brace, spreading your Supporting your wrists. Grace. When you can, bending your front knee a tiny bit more. Yeah, a tiny bit more. Breathe. <laughs> Negotiating millimeters. Bring your foot a tiny bit more further. I can't touch you. I didn't bring my mask. Breathe. Inhaling. Exhaling. Planting your hand 
onto the floor, stepping your foot back, meeting your left, staying here. Raise, coming down onto your elbows, fingers spreading wide, gazing between your arms. Raise, releasing belly button, pubic bone, big toes touching, pulling your hands towards your heart. Maybe you can lifting your elbows. So you want to stay with your elbows down. And then from here, you're pulling your hands and you're lifting your elbows. You don't need to walk your hands closer. This is it, Pedro. Opening your chest. Shoulders coming down for the ears. Wonderful. Breathe. Exhaling, coming back down onto your elbows, curling your toes under, lifting yourself up. Breathe. Come in your forearm blank. Gaining a bit more strength, and you're planting your hands under your shoulders, come into your full blank, releasing your knees, your toes, pulling your hands towards your heart, chin chest, meeting the floor, sneaking forward, mini cobra, rise higher. Right, shoulders rolling back and down. This is it. Look at this. Breathe. Curling your toes, lifting your seat, downward facing dog, stepping your feet together, left leg, inhaling. Exhaling, stepping your left foot between your hands, releasing your knee, releasing your toes. And from here, you're lengthening your front leg. Stephanie, what's always really Easier when you come from here, you come down onto your knees because then you know the distance of your hips and then you're planting your foot in front. This is it. Curling your toes and then from here, you have a bit more the measures. This is it. It comes by time. You just didn't practice that often. Breathe, lengthening your front leg. Pressing your foot into the floor, releasing your neck. <sighs> Inhaling, bending your front knee, curling your back toes under, stepping your right, meeting your left. Inhaling, coming halfway, folding forward, Uttanasana. Exhaling, left thumb on top of your right, bending your knees reaching forward from your arms, staying here, gaining strength in your core, spreading your toes, inhaling, inner back bending, stay bending your knees, exhaling, bringing your prayer in front of your chest, closing your eyes. Releasing your arms, sweep your arms over your head, folding forward with your exhaling, bending your knees, stepping your right foot back, releasing your knees, releasing your toes, crescent moon lunge, inhaling, opening your arms towards the side as if you can hug this universe, interlacing your fingers in your back, pushing with your hands, towards your heel, opening your chest. You can stay here. People have a bit more balance. You can bending your right knee, grabbing with both of your hands, your ankle, and helping yourself, opening up. Don't worry when this is a bit a step too far away. Stay here, pushing with your heel, uh, with your hands, bending your front knee. Breathe, inhaling, exhaling, planting your hands, curling your back toes, stepping back in your high plank. Stay in your high plank, come into your downward facing dog, take a vinyasa, knees, chin, chest, or if you like, Shakturanga Dandasana, you stay with your hips lifted up, inhaling, pushing yourself forward, Upward facing dog, exhaling in your downward facing dog. Breathe. Where are your fingers? Rolling back shoulders. 
gaining balance in your breath. Same amount, inhaling as you are exhaling. Breathe. Breathe. One more inhaling. Bending your knees with your exhale, gazing between your hands. Inhaling and with your exhaling, maybe you want to step in or walking or you want to hopping forward between your hands. Inhaling, coming halfway, folding forward, Uttanasana, surrender. Inhaling from your feet, pressing down, lengthening your legs, your heart gazing forward, come into your standing. From here, you want to avoid pulling on your lower back. So when you're coming up like this, your feet pressing into the floor, your chest reaches forward. You don't need to have long legs. It doesn't matter. You're finding this guidance from, from here. So you, there is somebody pulling you up, avoiding pulling on your lower back, arms on your side, left side, inhaling, exhaling, folding forward, bending your knees, stepping your left foot back, releasing your knee, your toes, crescent moon lunge, inhaling, shoulders releasing, Coming a tiny bit more further with your hip, not your foot, your hip. Breath. Opening your arms towards your side as if you're hugging this universe. Palms of your hands facing up, bending your front knee a bit more. Breathe. Stay or interlacing your fingers in your back, pushing with your hands towards your heel. Breathe. Stay, or maybe you have space. You can bending your knee, grabbing with your hand. You can grab with one hand or with both of your hand, flexing your foot when you grab, smiling in your heart, in your face. Breathe, inhaling. Stay one more, exhaling in your pose. Inhaling, exhaling, planting your hands under your shoulders, curling your back toes, stepping back in your high plank. So please choose, pace yourself, knees, chin, chest like we practiced before, or you want to stay in your down dog for a moment, or you want to come into your child pose, or you practice your vinyasa. You're pushing with your heels, opening your chest, your elbows glued to your body, pushing forward, inhaling, exhaling, rolling over your toes in your downward facing dog. Breathe. Inhaling, spreading your fingers, Kate. Middle finger in, this is it, breathe. And bending your knees, Stephanie, pushing with your seat up. This is it, breathe. Rounding back your shoulders to be as a tiny bit more. So your shoulder blades want to meet in your seat. Energetically, one more deep breath. Bending your knees, gaze between your hands, hopping, walking, stepping between your hands, inhaling, coming halfway, folding forward in your exhaling. One breath, come in your standing. Remember, feet pressing, chest guiding, no pressure, lower back, arms on your side. Breathe, trikonasana, inhaling, sweeping your arms 
exhaling, folding forward, stepping your left foot, bending your knees. So you want to step in your left foot back, open it 45 degrees, both legs lengthening, left hand on your left hip, opening your torso. Breathe. This, feet, this is it. You could step your back foot at tight. Yes. And the toes facing forward. Stay with your heel a tiny bit more further. And then your toes coming. Yeah. Cool. Breathe. Lengthening your spine as if there is a muddy pool. Wonderful. Breathe. Lengthening your front leg. Both legs long. This is it. Ah, hm? ja, aber nicht wirklich ähm, zumachen, sondern ganz, ganz klein bisschen. Ja. Opening your torso, drehen mit mir. La, this is it. One more deep inhaling. Breathe. As if there is somebody pulling you up from your hand. You come into your standing, bringing your hand on both of your hips, or your hands on your hips. Both feet coming, facing front, your heels opening. So maybe you want to open a tiny bit further away while you're pressing your feet, lifting these inner arches of your feet. Connecting with your mula bandha, finding a long spine, hands on your hips, inhaling, opening your chest, back bending, folding forward from your hips, releasing your hands under your shoulders. When you need a block, please grab a block. Kate, is this yours? This one or this one? That one. Breathe. Lengthening your spine. Breathe. Und bringe die Blöcke unter deine Schultern wirklich. Du bringst ein bisschen zu. Ja. Dass du dein Spine lengthen kannst. Ja. Breathe. So from here, you bring your right hand under your face, your left arm opening up, stacking your shoulders. Use your block when you need. Oh. Who is in deine? Aber es geht. <lacht> Inhaling. Exhaling. Coming back with your right hand. Switching side, left hand in front of your face. Lifting your right arm. And while you're lifting your right arm, you want to pressing your left hand into the floor. Lengthening your arm. Your torso is opening up. It's not about your arm. It is about your torso. Breathe. Exhaling, releasing your hand. Stay with your feet and your hips where you are walking your arms forward in an open legged down dog. So you're pressing with your seat back, spreading your fingers. Inhaling, walking your hands back under your shoulders, walking your hands towards your front toes, bending your knee, gazing forward, stepping back, finding your high plank. Stay in your high plank, taking a vinyasa, take anything you need. You can come into your child pose, bending your elbows, inhaling, upward facing dog. Rolling over your toes in your downward facing dog. Stay one more breath in your child pose when you are there. Breathe. And then you spread your fingers wider. Okay. Breathe. I know it's really habitual. It takes a while, but 
but then suddenly there is a moment you feel it that you want to open in your hands further breathe bending your knees gaze between your hands with your exhaling you want to stepping hopping walking forward halfway up with your inhaling exhaling folding inhaling with one breath in your standing bring your prayer in front of your chest releasing your arms sweep your arms over your head folding forward your right foot one is stepping back open it 45 degrees right hand on your right hip long spine breathe it doesn't matter where your left hand lands it lands on your shin bone on your knee on your thigh opening your chest and then from here you can open your arm breathe finding this softness in your body breathe was in deine Blöcke, Tobias da da play 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 breathe Entschuldigung, lass es mich noch ein bisschen nach vorne ziehen. Du hast einen Lecker an euch. Ja, das ist besser, genau. Ja. And one more time. As if there is somebody pulling you up. Come into your standing. Hands on your hips. This time you want to bring your heels facing internally and you want to spreading your toes towards the side so you're opening your hips hands stay on your hips bring your hands maybe around when you are a bit tight in your hips bending your knees towards your side releasing down inhaling lifting up exhaling bending your knees towards your side inhaling lifting up exhaling bending your knees lifting your heels you're pressing your balls of your feet into the floor sorry Pedro I, you can't see me you come with your knees open bending your hips breathe exhaling bringing your heels back down lengthening your legs your arms on your side sweep your arms over your head bringing your arms towards your side bending your elbows palms of your hands facing each other goddess pose bending your knees breathe and from here you want to come into your lion breath closing your eyes bringing all energy in breathe bending your breathe this is it and from here you're closing your eyes and with your exhaling open eyes tongue come out like really come on you need to do this or we don't stop inhaling exhaling inhaling and exhaling one more inhaling exhaling from here you're bending forward you stay bent in your knees you're bending forward you stay with your arms bending forward arms on your side lifting your heels breathe Breathe, exhaling, releasing heels, releasing your arms and letting your legs walking in front. Long runner's lunge with your inhaling, exhaling, stepping back in your high plank. One more vinyasa, child pose, downward facing dog. Please pace yourself exhaling in your downward facing dog spreading your fingers balancing your breath do you feel yourself nourishing with breath with movements opening up these energy lines they are so stuck so close from constant critical mind 
when you observe your life in your life, what makes life difficult is this mind telling you, I don't want, I don't like. It should be different. When you rest in this mind, you have more space. Bending your knees, gazing between your hands, hopping, walking, stepping forward, inhaling, coming halfway, folding forward, in your exhaling, inhaling, in your standing, praying your prayer in front of your chest, releasing in Tadasana. Inhaling, sweep your arms over your head. Exhaling, folding forward, lifting your heels, bending your knees, and you want to stay balancing on your balls of your feet, arms lengthening, index finger and thumb want to meet. Reaching forward from your arms and at the same time you're reaching back from your seat, coming down, sitting, lengthening your legs, Paschimottanasana, pushing with your hands, your flesh towards the side, hands next to your hips. When you know you are a tiny bit short, you can bring a height under your hips or you simply bending your knees slightly, pulling your heels towards your seat, that you find yourself lengthening. You do not want to folding forward like this. See what happens. Lungs, organs, pressure here. And then you wonder why your back is hurting after your practice. So you want to find a long spine, arms next to your hips. Brace arms over your head, inhaling, folding forward with your exhaling, releasing your neck. Breathe in your Paschimottanasana. West side stretch. Inhaling, reaching forward from your heart. Exhaling, coming back in your sitting. Sliding your hands behind you. Spreading your fingers wide. Two options. So you stay here, pressing your hands, rolling back your shoulders, lifting your chest. Stay. Good enough. Reaching forward from your balls of your feet and you're lifting your seat. When this is too difficult, Steffi, maybe you wanna and Vanessa, oh no, Vanessa, you okay? Maybe you wanna bending your knees, planting your feet, hip widths apart, and then from here you're lifting yourself. Breathe, pressing your feet, reaching forward from your soles of your feet. Breathe, inhaling, lifting up, exhaling, coming back down onto your seat, letting your hands shaking. Making a fist and letting your wrists rolling gently one side and two changing direction. I found this really difficult changing direction. Hand helping with your hand opening your wrist and the opposite side. And the other hand. Hands reaching around, planting your hands. You want to take one more time. So please choose long legs, really long legs. If you would like to take it a tiny bit less challenging, you're bending your knees and planting your feet where your knees has been. So please don't go half away because there you don't find really the pressure from your feet and it's difficult for your hips. Either stay long 
or bending. Please don't do halfway. Yeah, fingers facing forward and you wanna lifting up one more time. It's easier when you're reaching really forward from your feet, this is it, smiling. Lifting, inhaling. Stay one more breath with your exhaling. Inhaling. Stay one more round with your exhaling. One more inhaling, lifting your hips. Exhaling, coming back down onto the floor. Bending your knees and letting yourself shuffling forward on the first three quarters of your mat, gazing over your shoulder. Are you okay? Do you have space? So bringing your hands under your knees and you're letting yourself flipping back and coming forward. Exhaling, flipping back, coming forward. People who have a bit more energy, you're planting your feet onto the floor, come into your standing, bending your knees and rolling back. Taking a few more, exhaling, integrating it all, inhaling, lifting up, exhaling, coming down, inhaling your last time, lifting up, exhaling, coming down and stay down. Knees pressing against your chest. Breath. Breath. Feeling this energy moving in your body. Holding your left knee, lengthening your right leg. Hover this right leg two or three centimeters over the floor, stretching out this leg. Breath. Changing side, bending your right knee, lengthening your left leg. Inhaling, bending your left, lengthening your right, lifting your chest, nose meeting with your knee. Changing side, stay with your torso. Exhaling, inhaling, changing side, exhaling, inhaling, changing side, exhaling, inhaling, changing side, exhaling. Two more times, each side, inhaling, inhaling, inhaling. Exhaling, inhaling, both knees hugging towards your chest, releasing your neck, releasing your spine, releasing your arms next to your body, lifting your legs towards your ceiling, pointing with your toes, exhaling, flexing your feet, inhaling, pointing your toes, exhaling, flexing your feet, inhaling, pointing, Exhaling, flexing, letting your legs opening towards the side, interlacing your fingers, point with your index finger. Reach with your arms over your head. With your exhaling, lifting yourself up, gaze between your legs, pressing your sacrum, your behind your belly button into the floor. Breathe a tiny bit more awareness in your core. Inhaling, releasing your arms back, closing your legs, exhaling, bending your knees towards your chest, rounding yourself up, planting your feet onto the floor, habits apart next to your seat, pressing your feet into the floor, lifting your hips while you're lifting your arms over your head. A very gentle bridge here. You want a kind of finding slowly back into your savasana. So from here, you're lifting your hips, exhaling, bringing your arms back next to your body and releasing your hips towards the floor. One more time, inhaling, as if you can screw yourself slowly. Exhaling, your last time, inhaling. 
Exhaling, bringing your arms back on your side, letting your palms of your hands opening towards the ceiling, lengthening your legs, Shavasana, arms resting, toes floating towards the side, closing your eyes, taking one last deep, deep conscious inhaling, and with your exhaling, with the sigh, you're letting go all. <sighs> Remembering the way you started. Softening your breath. Your breath becoming natural. The way it is. Right now. Unguided. Unguarded. Feeling your toes softening, feeling your soles of your feet easing. Your ankles letting go, your knees, your thighs softening and your hips. Savasana is part of the whole practice. So you still stay focused. Observing this constant critical mind. They have been investigating in mind, observing mind, what is going on with mind. And they found out that the thoughts we are thinking kind of daily, constantly, are repetitive thoughts. The thought we are thinking today, we have been thinking before and before and before, and this is more than 90%. And more than 80% of these repetitive thoughts and constant thinking thoughts we've been thinking already are more than 80% negative. That's average. So maybe it's not you, but averagely talking. So letting yourself being refreshed in your Shavasana by still practicing And there's a beautiful quote reminding on this, and the author is unknown. Regardless of what I sense, feel, or think, I am always whole. Regardless of what I perceive or experience, I am always complete. Regardless of what I do, don't do, or what gets done to me, I am always good. No thing, object, or experience can ever modify the limitless conscious existence that I am. When this knowledge is firm, moksha, liberation is attained. Until that time, I practice at the altar of life.
and gently and slowly reconnecting to your breath, letting your breath growing fuller, stronger, and with this sensing your inner movement, like the energy traveling towards your fingers and your toes. And maybe there wants to be a bit of a playful waking up, joining back with movements, like your fingers playing, your toes. Maybe spontaneous movements happening, like you're lengthening your arms over your head, giving yourself one more nice little stretching, and then you're folding in your knees towards your chest and floating towards your right side. <clears throat> And when you feel ready with your left hand in front of your chest, press yourself up and find a comfortable seat. And this seat can be kneeling or cross-legged, any posture you feel comfortable with, planting your hands in Anjali Mudra in front of your chest with your eyes still closed. Feeling yourself, sensing yourself. And to finish and seal this practice, let's finish with a deep, long sounding om, starting together, and then you follow your own pace of your breath, chanting this beautiful sound of om to connect all together with the sound of this universe. In this whole world, there are more people chanting with this universe at this time. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for practicing yoga with me this morning. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.